I decided to draw a desert for this insanely popular BDK fragrance. Welcome to Smellomania. This is a channel where I actually draw perfume reviews. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, then keep on watching. The day has come. It's time to review the most popular creation from a French perfume house called BDK Parfums. The name of the juice is Rouge Smoking, a fiery red liquid with an intriguing label. I've always thought that the name was all about smoke, but then I accidentally checked the meaning and Rouge Smoking stands for a red tuxedo. It suddenly got a lot cooler. Rouge Smoking is all about cherries, at least that that's what the rest of the perfume community claims. I was really excited to try it because just a week ago I did the review on other PDK fragrance which was called Wood Jasmine. To my humble nose that one smelled exactly like sweet and sour cherry jam even though there were no actual cherry notes in that juice. So how does rouge smoking compare to Wood Jasmine since it actually has cherries in it. Let's find out. Other officially listed notes in Rouge Smoking are Bergamot from Italy, Cherry Accord, Pink Pepper, Black Vanilla, Heliotrope, Ambroxan, Kashmira, Tonka Bean, Labdanum, and White Musk. When I experienced Rouge Smoking for the first time, it appeared to me as something quite sweet. It felt dusty and powdery. Interestingly enough, it's balanced perfectly and is a truly unisex creation. The most exciting part is that this juice is bitter, bittersweet, just like Adele sang. Who would have known how bittersweet this would taste <laughs> or smell in our case? Rouge smoking feels dry but that's what makes it feel fancy and like a such solid creation. Why did it make me think of red wine? Maybe because you have to learn to appreciate it. But what about cherries? Is this the ultimate cherry fragrance? I wouldn't say so. They're not too dominant and they're very dry. It's like that one red cherry which had zero sourness was sitting on a pile of sugar and then got so dry that it just turned to dust, as if Thanos himself snapped his fingers once again and that rouge smoking cherry dissipated into sweet red dustness. Interestingly enough, even though rouge smoking, when translated from French, means red tuxedo, I could actually say that it reminded me of red smoke, that sensual, sweet, cherry-like bitterness. Seems like a quality that a red smoke could have. <laughs> I kept on thinking what could represent this impression of dry red sweetness and then I remembered seeing some photos of those pink beaches around the world. Of course, red sand. The sun might have been heating it up the whole day and now it kind of smells like rouge smoking. The perfume is dusty. This could be represented by sand. There are dry cherries, maybe burgundy sand? It's sweet and bitter. Bitter smoke? Sweet dates in a desert oasis? Deep and dark. Nighttime in a desert? Yet it's soft and round. <laughs> dunes, dunes of course. I put together a quick sketch explaining my train of thought. When everything comes together, when cherries turn into sand and suddenly the city is lit up with fire, the desert starts smelling like rouge smoking. For this drawing, I decided to use watercolor pencils. They look like normal pencils, but once you apply water, they become an instant masterpiece. I decided that the third swatch matched rouge smoking the best. So this will be the color I'll use for the majority of my painting. I then color the whole piece with one layer. At this stage, my drawing looks like it belongs at a daycare. <laughs> but just you wait. Let me know if you'd like to hear more about drawing or painting techniques I'm applying. Rouge smoking feels like it's not for everybody. It comes across as quite a challenging perfume. 
not in a bad way that it's weird or unpleasant. Definitely not. I feel like you need time to fully understand and appreciate it, or it just instantly clicks with you. I needed almost the whole week to finally crack it. Rouge smoking felt the most beautiful once I stepped outside and tried smelling it in an almost freezing weather. It felt deep and rich and not overly sweet. Actually, I'm quite amazed about all the hype around this perfume. It feels too niche, too pretentious to be a crowd pleaser. I guess people find that bitter sweetness attractive and unexpected. Let me know what you think. Maybe you own a bottle? So I drew a red desert with cherries buried in the sand all over the place, a small oasis with sweet dates hanging from the palm trees and the beautiful night sky slowly overtaken by smoke from the city. Thank you so much for watching my review on Rouge Smoking by BDK Parfums. See you on the other one the next week. Bye!